Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be going over how to diagnose a misfire with the OBD11 software. Okay, so we have our OBD11 software and we're going to show you how to diagnose a misfire. This is just a basic overview of how to do it and we'll give you an idea of how to track down uh, if you have a misfire and what specifically could be causing it. Um, this is a basic intro to it and it will cover probably most misfires you're having will probably be checked out by this. And then obviously once you get past this point, you would have to go more in depth. So we're gonna start with our OBD-11 and it's plugged into our vehicle, turn the ignition on, and we're gonna go into the engine fault section. We currently have no faults in our vehicle. And then we're gonna go into live data. All right, now once we get into live data, we can search for misfire. And if you see, you can do misfire sum counter, and then you can do cylinder one, two, three, and four, and that's gonna show you uh, misfires per thousand revolutions. And we're done, and then we can click okay. All right, so if we take a look here, we have our check engine light is flashing, engine is running, we know we have a misfire. So if we watch here, we can take a look at our cylinders that are misfiring. At the top, we have our misfire sum counter, and then we can tell that cylinder number one and two are indeed misfiring. So let's go figure out how we should check out which one, what's going on. Okay, so here we have our four cylinder engine. First, we're gonna start by popping our engine cover off. And on this model, it just pops up. This would be true on this engine and as well as the 2.0T TSI engine. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with, and you have a different model engine other than this one, uh, we have videos showing you how to remove and install ignition coils and spark plugs on both the 2.0T TSI engine um, as well. So that's much different because you just pop the coils up um, and they're not actually bolted in place. But on this model, they are actually bolted in place with these 10 millimeters. So we're gonna pop that one off and then we're gonna take this one off. So what you're going to do, because we had a, a cylinder one and two misfire, what you would wanna do is take the ignition coils from cylinder one and two and swap them to three and four. Uh, that would help you determine, you swap them over, determine if your misfire has moved from cylinder one and two to three and four. If it has not, then you progress to the spark plugs in each cylinder. You can take the spark plugs out of one and two and swap them with three and four. And then if these misfires move, then you know that the spark plugs are your problem. If neither of those things happen, you have something else going on and you have either a fuel injector issue um, or something is specifically in that cylinder, which is a problem by itself. Uh, something to keep in mind with misfires. If you have a cylinder on one, two, three, and four misfire, all cylinders misfiring randomly, then you likely have a vacuum leak of some kind, uh, in which case you would want to go down the road of diagnosing a vacuum leak instead of looking at a misfire. So once you've swapped them out and you've determined what you got going on, you can then reinstall your ignition coils, and then check out how to finish your misfire. Okay, so now that we believe that we've addressed our misfire issue, what we wanna do is recheck the car, go into our OBD-11 app, uh, check out the misfire counter, and then we can determine if we fix our misfire indeed or not. So oftentimes well, you might get a couple misfires initially on startup because keep in mind, when you fix the misfire, you had unburned fuel that was constantly dumping into the cylinder for, for whatever the purpose was, uh, you know, bad ignition coil or spark plug or whatever. So if we take a look, we see we don't have continued misfires. Now what we can do in this circumstance would be go back to our faults and then we can erase our faults. Now there are no faults currently available. You can hit the refresh button just to have it scan the faults again. And once we've determined there are no faults, we can then go back to the live data 
and we can pull up our misfire counter again just to be sure that we have no continued misfires. So if we take a look, all the miss, all the cylinders are at zero, no misfires. You can run it for a while to determine specifically what you have going on just to make sure, um, and then even obviously perform a test drive to make sure you don't continue to have faults. And now we have diagnosed misfires with an OBD-11 scan tool. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.